Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing a Dota 2 comparison between running it on Ubuntu 13.04 versus running it on Windows 8. Now both systems are running the NVIDIA 331 Beta drivers, all right, which are the latest for both systems. So hopefully this is as close as we can get to a driver parity between the two systems. Alright, so I'm running both games maxed out on each system, with the exception of ambient occlusion being off. Why is it off? Because for some reason the game refuses to enable it on both systems. Maybe it's because of a previous cloud save I did, but every time I start up the game it refuses to stay on. All pick. So both games have started out. We're seeing both of them jump up to the 120 frames per second just now. Loading between menus drops the frames down on both systems and brings it back up. Looks like Ubuntu was experiencing a slight dip there just now. Okay, so we have all heroes in the screen right now and Ubuntu is losing about 20 frames per second or 15 frames per second compared to Windows right now. Prepare for battle. The max frames per second for this game is 120. Although there's probably a way to get around that. This is what most people will be experiencing. As the heroes leave the scene, and we only have Abaddon and his pal there, both go back up to 120. So, so far, when there are a lot of heroes in the scene, we do see it dip quite a bit compared to Windows. The real test, of course, will be when we start fighting with the enemy AI after this. This is offline, running with bots so that there's no lag from the internet. So this is only on the computer. I'm not a good Dota player, so this is not a test of my Dota play skills. Alright, this is just to see how the performance differs on both systems. To By default, Ubuntu's, uh, the game on Ubuntu will or should have a lesser chance of higher frames per second compared to Windows because when Valve ported the game, there is a translation layer inside the game. It is not Wine, but it does translate DirectX calls to OpenGL, whereas on Windows, it's DirectX calls straight to Windows, so there's no me medium layer there. The battle begins. Okay, hopefully we'll start to see some action in the moment. We're still seeing a good 120 frames per second being reached on both. Both systems are able to max out the FPS so far. Even with the creeps in the scene, so far so good. So it seems only when the heroes with the high polygons come into the scene, we see the frames drop on either system. Right now both are having no problem handling 120. We have three heroes on the screen right now, still 120. Looking good so far. In all honesty, I am expecting Dota 2.2 to perform slightly less on Ubuntu, according to all the forums I read. We'll see where... Ah, here we are. We're starting to see a loss of about 10 frames per second compared to the Windows version, because we have 4 heroes in. Oh, he just used his skill, and we saw Ubuntu drop down to 90. Windows dropped down as well, but not as much. It didn't go into the 90 range yet. Looks as soon as like we get 4 heroes into the scene, Ubuntu does experience a dip in performance. Anywhere from 10 frames to 20 frames per second lost. Still 4 heroes? No, 3 heroes in the scene just now. 4 heroes in the scene. Yep, we're losing a steady 20 frames per second there on the Ubuntu side. Now 10. Fluctuates quite a bit. Alright, looks like it's gone back up. As soon as the heroes leave the scene, and only, all you're left is with yours or one other, you're okay. Still 120 on both. Oh, we're dropping down for a moment there on Ubuntu. It could be, for all likeliness, the particle effects on the heroes themselves that's causing the frames to drop. Both are dropping, but Ubuntu is dropping by 10 frames more just now. Not as bad as I was expecting, but since it's a competitive game, it's supposed to be as close as possible for both systems. You don't want to be disadvantaged.
Yep, still saying it's steady, less than 10, sometimes less than 20 frames per second compared to Windows on Ubuntu's side. Uh, as soon as he uses that skill, we see it drop down to 90 frames per second. Windows drops as well, but it only drops about 10. Uh, just now we saw it for a moment drop to 20. Oh, I think that was the first time it dropped to 90 just now. It recoups a lot faster than Ubuntu does though. Yep, once again, as soon as the heroes leave the scene, there's only two in there. We're seeing the frames go back up on Ubuntu's side. We are seeing it flicker between 90 to 100 here. Yet there's only two heroes in the scene. Still looks like we're losing the same amount of frames per second here, anywhere between 20 to 10. Windows side seems to drop at most, it'll drop at 20 frames per second, but that's rare. It seems to drop 10 frames per second. Oh, with this heavy thing, both dropped to 90 just now, but Ubuntu dropped slightly less and went down to 87 frames per second, while Windows is still 90. So when things do get heavy, both systems drop FPS. Drop is not as bad as I thought it would be on Ubuntu's side. Both systems are now struggling to stay at the 120. Windows is staying higher by about 10 frames per second. Oh, for a second Ubuntu went down to 70 frames per second. Windows was at 80. Yeah, when action scene starts getting serious, as we saw just now, both systems drop. Ubuntu drops about 10 frames per second more. So that pretty much concludes this test. As you can see, when there are two heroes in the scene or a bunch of creeps, you're going to get about 20, 120 frames per second on both systems. However, when four heroes or more start entering the scene, you're going to see a dip on the Ubuntu side. It looks like either the particle effects on the heroes or maybe the polygons in the heroes are affecting the frames per second. If you were to have seen just now at the end of the recordings, on Ubuntu side, inside the console itself, it was doing a whole lot of direct 3D queries and they were in red, so it's very possible that there is an error or a warning or such or something like that on Ubuntu side. Hopefully future updates will fix performance. It's not looking as bad as it would though. I thought I would be getting less than 50 frames per second or not less than 50, sorry, less than 50% at times, but it was able to keep on par with Windows at many times. Not as close as Windows performance when the heavy scenes comes in, but both drop frames per second. We're only really seeing about 10 to 20 frames per second difference at any given time. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and thanks for watching.